All right, guys, welcome back. Hope everybody had a great Christmas. Or if you didn't, I hope you got through it okay. So I felt like it had been a few days since I'd come on here and did a video. So I was excited to get on here and hang out with you guys for a little while today. And we do have a new product still to look at. So this is the Chroma R by Inakin with the Slide Tank we're going to be checking out today. And then we're also going to be trying out the... 0.8 resistance coils, the ones that come with it is a 1.2. So all right, vapes, does it is the Inakin Chroma R today on Indoor Smokers. Whoop. I got one here still in the box. We can take a peek at so you can see what you get with your kit. Your mod, single 18650, four mil tank, replacement glass piece, replacement coil. On your right side here is gonna be a couple of accessories and all of your instruction books, information, things like that. Micro USB cord and a replacement drip tip and a few O-rings and things. All right, check it out guys. It is a pretty slick design on here. I thought it was maybe a little bit reminiscent of the Mag Grip Kit, something like that. It does have that slick like leather patch on the back there. But if you notice, it is very unique. The way that the screen itself is also the fire button. So that's a pretty neat little feature I had not seen before. And then you guys can see, you get all your good information here. Your battery power, your wattage, you do have a puff counter, your puff seconds, your voltage, and your resistance. This will do variable wattage, variable voltage, and also has that bypass mode. If you press and hold the plus and minus buttons for a few seconds, that will get you into all your menu options here. So as you can see, you got your wattage, you got your wattage mode, which is your mild, hard, you know, that type of stuff on the hits themselves. And then you also have the same thing for voltage, which you can get right in and you can do this thing in straight voltage mode. And as you can see, you got a bypass mode. You do have your curves, your cutoff, your screen, which is basically just going to allow you to choose the um, seconds before the screen turns dark. And then we want to get back into wattage mode. All right. So... The 0.12 resistance coil on here is recommended between 10 and 14 watts. The 0.8 resistance coil, which I have in here right now, I believe is about 15 to 18. And I had already primed this coil up a little bit ago, but I think I'm going to put a little bit more juice in there now. Going to be using a little bit more of my Beastie Boys and Berry. All right, four mils of juice. And then this does have a locking feature. Once you put that drip tip in, you're not going to be able to slide that open, so it's not going to pop open in your pocket or anything. So, all right, guys, as you can see, it is reading this coil as a 0.78, which is pretty damn close to the 0.8, so it's almost spot on. We are going to be doing 3.44 volts, maybe 3.46 volts to get this vape at 15 watts. So we'll start here, and then we'll work up, and it can recommends you start at the lowest wattage and then you turn it up turn it up until you find that perfect watt so that you don't burn the coils probably good advice Woo! that may actually be a little bit much on the vapor clouds for some of you beginning vapors out there that is why I think the 1.2 resistance coil will be perfect for that. A little bit of a tighter draw and maybe not quite as much vapor production. But that's actually only on 15. Let's go ahead and turn this thing up. Let's try 17.5. Sounds pretty good. All right, now we're doing about 3.7 volts to get this. Cock-a-doodle, damn! For a mouth-to-lung hit, man. Flavor is very good on this, not probably as big as something you're going to get off of one of those room filling kind of cloud tanks, but I always do like that mouth to lung hit because you do get a chance to have that vapor kind of sit in your mouth for a second before you inhale and exhale, kind of like a wine tasting, wine kind of sore, the way you're going to sip it first a little bit, kind of slurp it around in your mouth. And that's kind of with a little bit of a half direct lung hit on this. So, all right, guys, I'm going to show you the 1.2 resistance real quick. That is the one that comes pre-installed, and I already have it wicked up and ready to go, right? Yeah. 
All right, I think I am going to go ahead and close one of the holes on this since we're going to be going direct lung hitting on a lower wattage, higher resistance um, coil. So, all right, I'm going to let this one know it is a different coil. We're going to have to turn this thing down. We'll hit it 10 watts and then we'll come up. And for the adjustable airflow, you can have either one, two, or three holes showing. Three holes. That's a full-on menage a trois. You know, that's a nickname for a lesbian three-way. All right, here's your mouth-to-lung hit on the Chroma R. Pretty cool and mild at 10 watts. Let's go ahead and turn it up closer to the tie into 14. See what she's doing there. All right, 14 watt bait. Woo, way better. There we go. Now you're feeling it. You're getting a little bit more throat hit. You got a little bit of warmth coming off of that vape. This is really the device for anybody right now looking to first get into vaping, getting off them icky sticks. This is going to allow you to vape the same way that you're used to smoking in that two motion, drawing the vapor into your mouth and then inhaling and exhaling the same way you drag on a cigarette. And of course, one of the nice things about this setup here is that you are going to be able to switch over and put another very low resistance, um, high wattage type sub ohm tank on here. This is basically with the Ajax tank on it. Of course, it doesn't match very well, but won't worry about that right now. Let's kick it up to the high end and see how she does. Let's push some fucking clouds through this thing. Are you freaking kidding me? That thing got plenty of power. So if you choose later on to step up and advance your vaping journey a little bit into a bigger cloud tank like this, you're gonna be able to use it on the same mod. So if you guys are looking for the Chroma R for yourself, highly recommend, like I said, for anybody trying to get off them icky sticks, you can find that on the Inakim website or over on VaporDNA.com. And then I believe I'm gonna be back tomorrow night looking at some of your viewer comments. So make sure you don't miss out on on that if you guys have not done so already please do subscribe to this channel ring that bell so you get the notifications all the notifications not just some of them if you want to tell me something you thought about the new chroma r if you've used one of the other chromas in the past please give us your opinion down in the comments people love seeing those i love reading them too if you enjoyed yourself at any time today or you like the newest from anakin give us that thumbs up they're greatly appreciated and then other than that just have yourselves a great rest of your vaping day i will catch you right back here tomorrow peace